The primary role of the Federation of Uganda Football Association, FUFA, is to identify and nurture talent to guarantee growth and development of the game. The other key role is managing the game, but management requires expertise and experience to achieve. What is FUFA's scorecard in this regard? Kenneth Mutenyo has been involved with Coca-Cola School's tournament for over 10 years. You will realize that there used to be some structures. So what is not happening now is we win even if we prepare. Uganda has many football managers and coaches locally, but soccer pundits say that many don't have the competence to take the game forward. The argument is that they have technical skills but lack the ability to groom others. The facilities and the environment are also not favorable. So has FUFA helped in the generational transition of football managers? Do you have qualified coaches? The answer is no. Even if today there is a new a good player who have really emerged somewhere, maybe from my home area in Mitiana, and then when you bring the, that prayer, and we give, to give, it, we give that prayer to a coach who is here, not qualified, who is not good enough, then that talent is going to be killed. We can make it. Uganda has some of the talented players in this country. Is the failure to set up structures on nurture talent a result of politics taking over at FUFA House? Could it be one man's weakness due to their ambition to achieve and the basics neglected in favor of results on the pitch? I think this time round, we have to get it right. We need professional managers to come and take over at FUFA. <laughs> Ugandans are the biggest stakeholders in the game and their input is fundamental in the development of football. So to what extent has the football fan been engaged, especially in policy formulation and talent search? What is their take on the way the game is being managed today? <laughs> Some soccer analysts posited that to be a good football manager, you need not have played football. Though former players are potentially the best managers. So why have these ex-internationals failed, kept away, or failed to manage the game properly? And if they have been involved, why are there managerial gaps in the game? This will be the focus on our next piece. Jordan Mwangizi, NBS Television.